Hi, my name is Marius and welcome to my land. I want to briefly introduce you to what I'm doing here, why I bought this land. I recently acquired this two and a half hectare rectangular stretch of land uh, a month and a half ago in uh, early January 2019. And right away, uh, I'm trying to set it up so I can start living here. There is nothing here at the moment except trees and this greenhouse, which I'm finishing up, which I hope to move into as soon as possible uh, while it's still too cold. My intentions and purposes for this land are several. Um, the most time pressing one is to start a food forest. Food forest is basically a, a, a garden full of forest trees, forest bushes, vines, um, which grow in harmony with one another um, in a sense that nature does most of the heavy lifting work. It takes care of itself. Of course, that means I'm gonna have to prune it and take care of it. But the idea is to have something that will grow with the decades to come and flourish into uh, an orchard of all different kinds of fruits. Because you see, they say the best time to grow a fruit tree was 20 years ago. And I just turned 30. So I'm already thinking, what the hell am I going to want when I'm 50? And it's going to be fruit. I love fruit. <laughs> um, and seeing as fruit is one of the easiest things, uh, the least energy requirement foods to grow out of everything, out of dairy, meat, vegetables. When you look in the long term, um, you see it, it takes the least and there's the idea of having a forest of vines and things that grow in harmony with one another so that I can be here and clean it up, but otherwise nature does the heavy lifting. And furthermore, I want to learn how to grow my own food and become self-sustainable. What does it take to be able to disconnect? Um, I might be naive in thinking that I'll be able to achieve that, but I, I want to try. Another intention is that I want to learn. Um, uh, I want to learn how to build my own house. I want to learn how uh, to start a food forest. I want to learn about nature and how all of that is required and just everything that you need to to become self-sufficient in essence. How is energy collected from the sun or from water or from wind and how can you use that to your own advantage to live a, a closed loop life. Another intention is to figure out what the hell do I want in this next part of my life? I've worked in the city. I, I had a good job. I could have had that sort of a life, but I know that nature attracts me more. Uh, although I don't know what are, where am I gonna go from here? Uh, what is this place gonna turn into? And I want to have a, a playground to, to realize my dreams and curiosity. And here's a little tour of the ground. Here's one border. Over there, 100 meters, is another corner. And all along this road. This used to be worked ground before. They'd come in with the tractors and tear the ground up. This through the clearing is the other side of my border. So there's the castle hill.
and off in the distance you can see the other end where the trees basically end. And here's the other corner of my land. Here's the old moat. between me and the castle hill. A cool thing about where my land is situated is that right next to it in this long stretch of land can't even see the end of it, is uh, a castle hill. And my land is here to the right, and up in this uh, field is my neighbor Rigodas's. But this the patch of land here, nobody can buy it, nobody, it belongs to the state, and it's <laughs> it's got a lot of beautiful nature. Here's a lovely view from the castle hill. Here is already in to God knows whose land this is. It's just open land. But in Lithuania, there's a lot of open lands that you can wander around like everywhere around here. There's a river that you can go bathe in in the summer and I have yet to discover what's on the other side there but you may have noticed my uh, North American accent and wondered what is this guy doing in Lithuania and where the hell is Lithuania well Lithuania is a tiny country in northeastern Europe between Poland Belarus and Latvia and uh, basically, I'm a North American born Lithuanian. I spent most of my life in the States uh, where I studied, grew up, and went through the whole system, got a job, worked my early 20s away. And through that, I tried to start a company which led me out of New York and ultimately brought me to Lithuania where I lived for three months for the first time. Um, excluding the vacation trips I did with my my parents to visit family um, anyways after my company went under I returned to Lithuania and I started traveling a little afterwards I I traveled I learned to hitchhike I got my shit stolen in Ukraine I had to go back and work and I traveled some more but through my travels I started searching for a place that I could call home, that felt like home. I realized that everywhere I went abroad, it, it didn't really feel like my culture or my people where it was too developed and it was hard to find a place that felt like home um, away from the city. And uh, it brought me back here last year. I got my bike. Uh, fixed up. I got some panniers and I biked around Lithuania and I came across this quiet area an hour's drive outside of Vilnius. I, I volunteered um, at some people's place around here and through a friend or through them uh, I met my my neighbor Rigo does um, and I found this piece of land and Thanks to him, uh, he found who it belonged to, and we went and asked if the owner would sell the land. Fast forward half a year, uh, went through the paperwork, and I finally acquired this land. And now I'm taking the hard first step. So my purpose for starting these videos is basically just to document the, the process of going from being a suburban city person to becoming a, a self-sufficient person. I, I don't have any experience in building living spaces. Um, I have some gardening experience, but I've never had a full a garden of my own for an entire season. 
So join me in my adventures and my living experiment where I will share everything I learn. <laughs>